South Korea, the North, shells targeted a military loudspeaker that has been broadcasting anti-Pyongyang propaganda across the border. North Korea has repeatedly demanded the removal of such loudspeakers, calling them provocative. Macedonia has declared a state of emergency on its southern and northern borders over a surge in migrants and refugees, the interior minister announced. The country said it would involve the army in confronting the crisis. Interior Ministry spokesman Iva Kutevsky stated that the authorities may have moved to seal off the legal routes used by the migrants and refugees. Thousands of migrants were stranded on Thursday in a no-man's land between Macedonia and Greece near the Macedonian town of Yevgelia. Israel has pounded with artillery and launched airstrikes against 14 Syrian military positions in Golan Heights, holding Damascus responsible for calling to prevent a rocket attack on Israeli territory, which the IDF pinned on an Iran-funded Islamic Jihad group. In addition to Golan airstrikes by the Israeli military, unconfirmed reports emerged that the IDF also targeted Syrian 137th Regiment near Damascus. We remember, in the latest international military review, South Front reported that IDF has been exercising preparation for a ground invasion into Syria. Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras has confirmed his resignation and early election plans for Greece in a live address. The move comes after Athens made to pay a huge chunk of its 3.4 billion euro debt to the ACB. Tsipras said that he will now be looking for the Greek people to vote to continue the government program of his leftist Syriza party. Alexis Tsipras was one of the few who tried to defend the sovereignty of a Greece faced a hard economic crisis and political pressure of the EU. Now the future of the country is hidden under a fog of uncertainty.